prosperity springs from trust. This is the wisdom and practice of our next speaker, Guided Musha Maui. In 2011, the people of Tunisia launched the Jasmine Revolution to restore democracy. She was the president of the Tunisian Union of Industry, Trade and Handicrafts, a powerful employers group. When Tunisian democracy was threatened with violence, Uyded was among those who stepped forward to protect a peaceful democracy. In 2015, the Nobel Committee awarded Uyded the Peace Prize for the building of pluralistic democracy in Tunisia. Here to address the United Nations is Uyded Busha Maui. Thank you so much, Michael. I'm so happy to be here and I'm honored to be invited to speak at this conference on a subject which uh, is very close to my heart and my persona. Uh, thank you so much for this wonderful initiative. Uh, for me to assemble a global network of peace educator is very important because it's, um, uh, it, it allows us, I mean, to establish a culture of peace. Peace education must be widely accepted by all nations, societies, and cultures. They require the abilities and knowledge to foster peace, both for themselves as individuals and for the larger world. All educational institutions must provide students with possibilities that will help them become not only happy individuals, but also productive members of society. The school, because it's one of the privileged places for the training of future citizens, the vector of new values, but also all, but, uh, but above all, because it's not uh, spared either by the wave of violence which rages in society. It must educate for peace. To do this, it must be part of a real citizenship education project based on dialogue, consultation, participation, cooperation, and fight against exclusion. To develop the moral and civic sense of those, it trains to make them men and women devoted to the common good, respectful of the laws and rules of social life, and working to improve them in the direction of justice, equity, and mutual respects. Peace must be positive and founded on human rights, justice, equality, dignity, and so on. It's a non-violent relationship between individuals, groups of states, or systems. Unfortunately, today's peace is under threat. And now that's why the importance of education is very important for us. Currently, conflicts and tensions can be found everywhere in the world. We are also seeing the proliferation of weapons, institutional violence uh, brought on the poverty, poverty, hunger. The violence is indicati indicative of the injustice and oppression that uh, pervades many developing countries and can lead to other forms of violence that some people would, would consider to be justified, especially since resistance to oppression is a right. Violence, discrimination, racism, religious intolerance, and sexual harassment should be also mentioned because it contributes to the current environmental degradation and anarchic developments for the welfare of future generation. Not to be outdone, the school also experiences the effect of this structural violence because it's an institution of society and conforms to its rules, reproducing the inequalities and conflicts of values. It also forbids insults, threats, conflicts between students and teachers, and conflicts between students and members of the administration. 
it's very important to, to look to this, at this question and to be prepared and to prepare young uh, people for a better world. Due to the fact that today's education system places a, great, a greater emphasis on competition, performance, and elitism, which tends to elevate individualism at the expense of teamwork and solidarity, peace education at schools appears to be essential. And in fact, schools must provide students with the best of modern society in addition to maintaining their cultural tradition if they want to be democratic. The goal of peace education is to foster an understanding of shared values of the kinds of conduct that lead to and to and to and foster peace. Simply put, its goals is to help kids get to know one another, appreciate one another, understand and uh, have an idea about justice, equality, freedom, tolerance, and democracy, and to inspire them to work toward a more compassionate and unified world. It must acquire the skills necessary to recognize the universal principles of human rights, such as freedom, justice, equality, and tolerance. Peace education is a set of knowledge, values, attitudes, and skills for living in harmony with oneself, with others, and with nature. At school, it's a way of living relationships and peers, a way of setting conflicts, exercising authority, and reacting against injustices. I really call all of us to do our best to promote this Peace Education Day. Thank you so much. I'm adding my name to the petition for a Global Peace Education Day. So please follow me and sign this petition. Thank you so much.